Hi, this is Bill Wedemeyer with another tutorial on Wikipedia. Today we'll be discussing how to begin editing an article. Earlier we had shown you how to start an article, but now we're going to show you how to begin editing an article that already exists. So let's dive right in. The simplest way to begin editing an article is to click on this tab at the top of the page entitled Edit This Page. So clicking on that link, we come to the edit window. Now you'll see that this edit window is quite different from the original window. Let me go back. Here's the original window. This is what every reader sees when they go to this page. Now, however, as an editor, you'll be working primarily with this window here. Now, let me take you through the layout of this editing window. At the top of the page, you'll find the name of the article title that you're editing, shown here. You're editing this article title. Oftentimes below that, you'll see um, the size of the article, particularly if the article is very long. This is followed by a toolbar of 22 brightly colored buttons that will help you in your editing and which we'll cover in a later tutorial. Below that is the main meat of the editing window. This is this editing text box, in text box into which you type your latest changes. For example, I can add the change. Here is a change. And if I save that, that change will be added to the database and will then be seen by every reader. Now, to do that, let me scroll down here. Below the editing window, you will see this edit summary text box here. This is where you place um, a summary of what change you have made so you remember it for the future. For example, small change to the beginning beginning of the article. Great. So um, now below that there are two buttons of very great importance. The first one is show preview which when clicked will show you a preview of what the article will look like. For example here is a change. Here's the change that we made just a little while ago. An advantage of the show preview button is it also shows you down here the editing window in which you made that change. You see here. Okay, let me return. Okay, here we are again. Um, the other window, you, the other button you'll wish to uh, know about is this one, Save Page. When you click on this button, the changes you make and the edit summary that goes with it will be saved to the database. A third button of lesser importance is this one on the far right entitled Editing Help. When you click on this button, you'll come to a so-called cheat sheet that takes you through the various types of formatting that are often used in Wikipedia articles. Um, we'll cover that in a later tutorial, so don't worry about it for now. Okay, so I've shown you the first method, that is to say clicking on edit this page, which opens a um, edit text box with the entire article in it. So uh, I'm going to take you through a different approach now uh, that it makes it a little bit easier for you. You'll notice that in the table of contents at the top, that this article, this tutorial, has various sections in it. For example, edit this page section. That's that one here. That corresponds to this section here. And you'll see that all of these sections have in the far right an edit button. So for example, if I click on this button, or this one down here, I get this, the same editing window, but now I'm, instead of editing the entire article, I'm editing only a section of it, as it says right at the top here. I can make a change here, as I did previously, describe it in the edit summary below and click on show preview or save page just as before. Great. A third approach that is uh, reserved for discussion pages on Wikipedia is the so-called plus or new section tab. So let me take you through that. You won't see one on this page because this is an article, not a discussion page. However, if we go to the discussion page page for this article, you'll see this little plus tab here sandwiched between the history on its right and edit this page on the left. If we click on that plus sign, we come to something very similar to an editing window that we saw before, but now it asks you for a subject or headline. So I'm going to say new section and I'm going to say this is a test for the two Tutorial. Oops, a little typo. And I'm going to assign my name with four tildes. That's a classic way of doing things on Wikipedia. 
So I'm going to scroll down here to the um, to this part, and I'm going to click Save Page. When we do that, we've started a new section entitled New Section, not surprisingly, as we asked for, and it gives you the text, and it filled in my username, my link to my talk page, and the exact moment that I made the edit. So that's the third method by which you can begin to edit Wikipedia articles. Let me return now to this uh, tutorial, and let me just show you three things that you should have noticed about the editing. The first thing is that when you begin editing and you come close to the edge of the uh, editing window, you don't have to hit return. So for example, if I say, when um, you reach the end, you see it wraps around automatically. You don't have to think about it at all. And the Wikimedia, um, or should I say Media Wiki um, software will take care of the formatting for you. That's the first thing. The second thing you should notice is that paragraphs uh, in the editing window are separated by exactly one blank line. If you separate them with two blank lines, then you'll have rather unsightly um, white space, which is not uh, favored on Wikipedia. And third, you should notice that section headings are created by enclosing the text in equal signs, specifically two, three, four, five, or even six equal signs in a row on either side of the text. So let me take you back and show you what that looks like. You see, this is a major section heading. This has two equal signs on either side of it. The subsection has three. The sub-subsection has four. The sub-sub-subsection has five, and so on. And each of these sections comes with its own edit link, as we see here, and is included in the table of contents. Most articles will have a table of contents as long as they have at least three um, major sections. So I hope this is clear to you all, and um, uh, good luck starting your editing, and I'll see you in the next tutorial. Thanks.